Hi there, everybody. I'm Martin Tyler. Alan Smith is with me. We talk about friendly games, and I guess in perhaps uh, inverted commas, that's what this is. But professional football and friendly, Alan? No, they don't go hand in hand, do they? But a chance for the coaches to try out one or two different tactics, you know, three of that fierce competition they're normally involved in. It's Sheffield United in our match today, and they face Southampton. Jack O'Connell! Number three, Ender Stevens. Number 16, Oliver Norwood. Number four, John. Now Frank. you've got your chance to check on Number the lineup for the home team. So we put it up, and what looks, Alan, very Number defensive, but there's flexibility, David isn't there, in the side? Yeah, and I think with his shape, so Number much 10, depends on the wing Billy backs, how much Sean. they are allowed to get forward and what they can do when they do get forward. Here's the Southampton team for you. James Ward-Prowse plays today with Pierre-Hemil Hoiberg in the centre of the pitch. Shane Long is the main striker today. Don't think they have any problem attracting players, Southampton, down on the south coast and a good place to Pace yourself if you're a player coming into the Premier League. Yeah, I think so. They haven't uh, struggled to bring players in, but they have been very clever. They've unearthed some gems for decent money. I just hope to be able to continue doing that. Here's the kickoff, and the game is underway. Pierre Emil Hoybjerg. John Fleck. McGoldrick. With good vision. Real opening now. And there it is. Goalkeeper was reaching for it. And it did actually touch him on the way in. I think there was just too much power on the ball, on the shot, for him to get a strong enough touch. It's Sheffield United in front. Goal for Sheffield United. It's Ward Prowse. Billy Sharp. Doing well to keep the ball. It's long. Elianusi delivered into the box. Very sharp reaction save from close in see what sort of system they use to defend the corner. Put the corner in the middle. It's a throw-in given, very close to being a corner. Elianusi gets his cross in. It's not really away from the threat here. Norwood. Oliver Norwood. Basham. Norwood. Duffy. Here's a chance to go down the outside of the opposition. Played away, well away from goal. Elianusi with great vision here. Real chance. And shoots! They really had a go in the quest for this equaliser, Alan. Yeah, it was a half decent chance, maybe snatched at it a touch.
Bertrand. Pierre Emil Hoybjerg. Under some pressure, he shielded it well. John Fleck. Sharp. On the attack here. John Fleck. And here's the shot. Well, he scored. And it's a big moment for them in the match. They've pushed their lead now to two ahead. They've played well to this point. But sometimes a two-goal lead can be a dangerous one. We'll see. You have to be there to score it. And he ran in and got his reward. Just couldn't miss. No, it was a poacher's effort. The final finish wasn't difficult. But to get there, it took a little bit of instinct. Just widen the margin here to 2-0. Sheffield United goal, number 21. Yoshida. Duffy. Pierre Emil Hoybjerg. Redmond. This might be dangerous from the corner. A different angle on the goal here. Well, no question of trying to side foot this one. He's just put the full meat of the bat onto it and it's flown into the keeper's right. Corner's taken. Long. Oh, it's the post. Oliver Norwood. I think the woodwork's still shaking, Martin, from the effort a few seconds ago. Nathan Redmond. John Fleck. Now Billy Sharp. Sharp, McGoldrick, Norwood, working hard just to see maybe a sight of goal. He's had a go here. He's had a real go. It's a decent effort that with plenty of sting in it. Yeah, not far away. He really did visit, didn't he? Ryan Bertrand. Redmond. Taking on the defenders. Trying to find Shane Long in the centre. That's a shame, because in the end, that'll go down as a poor cross, really. McGoldrick. He's got some room out here in the wide position. The defender is able here to control the ball and clear. Wasteful pass, unforced error, really. Good position. They've worked this attack very well into a quite a dangerous position now. That's gone out for a throw in. Pierre Emil Hoybjerg. These two have got a great understanding with their passing. Could get his cross in now. Ryan Bertrand. And he's got the ball away from him with the tackle. Norwood. Cleverly done. Really get at the opposition here. It's a good cross. Compliment the defender, but not the player trying to cross it. There's a target at the front post. Off the post! 
defended well. Keeper was rooted to the spot with that chance and uh, thankful for the woodwork coming to his rescue. And the referee is blown for half time. It's 2 0 here. I think that's a good performance, isn't it, Alan, from him in the first half? That was a good first 45 minutes. Some of the runs he made were really impressive, and the goal led to one of them, of course. Just needs to keep it up now, keep up that work rate. The second half is off and underway. Read to play well. Oliver Norwood. Good vision. The goalkeeper will get this one, no problem. McGoldrick. They don't look like players, the referees, do they? And you can tell. The game being good vision here. Score better this time from the keeper. Well, he's kept going, hasn't he? He's kept his head up, and uh, maybe that will be the turn in terms of his form out here. Elianusi just working away to try and find an opening. Bertrand could pull one back here. Goodness me, it's hit the post. Got in the way. It's a difficult technique. He didn't quite catch it. Yeah, fair play for taking it on. Takes a bit of confidence to do that. Oh, we love to see players who want to get at the opposition, and this uh, attacking midfield player has done that today. And now he's going to just get the reward for it. He's going to sit out the last few minutes and get a great applause from the crowd. Yeah, and why not? He's one of those players with the knack for finding space in a box, arriving late, very much in the Frank Lampard mould. Southampton lining up a substitution now. Well, then it goes, and that's into the gloves of the goalkeeper. Not the hardest thing he'll have to do today, by any means. And it's been an hour of very good football here. We've still got 30 more minutes to go, and, and now the shot! That's a good block. Strong, powerful clearance. Getting forward well as a team now. Oliver Norwood. Well, we could get some news on the injury. I think Jeff Shreves is on the case. Oh, horrible injury to his shoulder there. Landed right on top of it. Saw, but he's tough, and I think he'll carry on. Jeff, I knew you'd know what was going on down there. Coming off the pitch. Well, time is ticking away. It's time for a change, and here it comes. Number 10, Charlie Austin. It's Ward Prowse. Now Austin. Well, a corner to come because of that deflection. Well, they've got a midfield maestro in their side today. Yeah, they've really got to get closer to him. As you can see, he's been receiving the ball in good areas in the middle of the park, and that assist that he uh, contributed was a beauty. Corner swung in. Played away, well away from goal. Yoshida. Redmond. And shoots! Real miscue here. Can find some space here on the flanks. It's Ward Prowse. Bertrand can go in from here. Oh, it's too strong the cross. It's gone over everyone in the middle. It's Ward Prowse. He could cross it from here. James Ward Prowse. Going to be a change for Southampton. The sub's going to come on. 
It's Ward Prowse. It's Charlie Austin. And here's the shot. Sharp. Stylish football with the ball. Using it so cleverly. Yeah, he's got wonderful vision. He's always aware. He always knows what he's going to do with the ball before it comes to him. Dowell. Good vision here. Just to keep it to beat. Kept his concentration, the goalkeeper, and because of that, kept hold of the ball. Yeah, he seems to fill the goal, this lad. He's quite an imposing keeper. And it's gone out for a throw. Well, they've decided to make a change. There's activity down there amongst the substitutes, and one will be coming on. Basham, and they've got a man out wide. McGoldrick, spaced across the ball now. Well, the header was going in, but it was pretty straightforward for the keeper to stop that happening. Yeah, he's thrown his cap on that one, hasn't he, the keeper? Easy, mate. Now Austin. Mario Lemina. Nathan Redmond. Looking for an opening with some good control build-up. Well, the game can be influenced so often by substitutes. The home team are going to perhaps gamble on that working for them now. Good width in the attack here, looking for a cross at the end of it. That danger was looming large, but they've got themselves back on the ball. Please give a round of applause Austin. for today's man of the match, number 17. They set it up well for the cross. Gets his cross in. Good defensive clearance there. Just one minute left on the clock. Mario Lemina. The referee has indicated there will be it's a Ward two minutes of added time. Now Austin. Here's Lemina. The shot's on. That is the final whistle. Some experimental work here from uh, the team, really. They've lost the match in doing that, uh, but it was only a friendly. It was, yeah. Um, they didn't play as well as they might have. There were a few substitutions. The manager tried one or two things out. Um, he'll try to claim some positives from it, no doubt.